Hi, I'm Salem Krieger. Today we're going to talk about color calibration. What this does is it allows us to order prints that come back to us that look very close to what our monitor is showing us. Remember, monitors are running off of RGB color space, red, green, and blue color pixels. When you get a Masterpix print back, it's ink. So the two are, there are two different worlds going on, and we're trying to get them to talk so the color on the monitor is very close to the print that we'll get back. In order to start this process, we go to the Masterpix website. There we will find a file called Calibration Chart. It's a free, downloadable file. Here's what it looks like. The next step is we're going to order the calibration chart. It's very low cost. It's been designed just for this purpose. It's very inexpensive. It's a 6x6 Masterpix print. This is what you'll get. It comes in a little package. This is the actual calibration chart. It's got color information and black and white chart information. Very handy. So what happens is, when you do your first test, when you get the Masterpix print, you look at your monitor and go, oh, the print looks a little red or green to me overall, because you're looking in the white areas or the black areas to see how they look. This tells us we have to make some corrections, but we can do this very simply. We're going to be working in Photoshop today. So let's go into Photoshop and see how we can do this. So now we're in Photoshop. We have a photograph that has a very heavy yellow tint to it. This was done on purpose for this demonstration. I'm going to click on the image there. Now we have Photoshop activated. We're going to come up here where it says Window. On Window, we click on it and we come down to Layers. This brings up this little palette. This is great. Here it is. The background is this, is this photograph. From here, we're going to remove the yellow by actually taking out the yellow by its complementary, its blue color. The complementary of red is green, the complementary of green is red, and the complementary of yellow is blue. So here we go. We're going down here. Can you see this? Little circle, half black, half white, and we're going to find something called curves. Very simple. It brings up this little chart, which is great. This allows us to use the white eyedrop picker, the gray, and the black picker. These will set points within the photograph to help clean it up. So we click on the white one. We're going in the photograph. I know the cloud should be white. I like the car door here. It's got a little yellow tint in here. So watch, we're going to click right in there and it helps remove a lot of that yellow. That's great, but you know, we can still see a bunch in here. We now go to the black and the black will do the same. Like this black rubber trim has a lot of yellow in it. So I don't want to go into super de deep black. I'm going to find an area like right about here where I can see some of it. And click there, see, and it took out a lot of that yellow. Lastly, we're going to go into the grayscale area. And here, this, is, this should be just a neutral grayish area. We'll click in there. And boy, look at that. One way you can see what you've done is if you go up to your uh, adjustment layer up here where it says curves, this eyeball, turn it on and off, will show you. Now we have to save it. We go up to File up here. See me up here? and we come down to Save As. Not Save, but Save As. And we're going to go to the desktop or some designated folder you have. The name of that file we just did was called car underscore window. We're going to add a little one on here so we don't destroy the original file. We can always go back to that. Lastly, we're going to click down here. See where it says Format? Format. And we're going to pick JPEG. Here we go, JPEG. We hit Save. We're going to leave it at 12. We want all the information, and we hit OK. Then, when I move this out of the way, there is our image. Let's see if we click on it. There it is. This is the file we're going to send into Masterpix. And that's how we can do that simple correction in Photoshop. Photoshop has numerous ways of making corrections, but what we just did here was very simple and effective. It works great. It will help you get your prints to look just like what you see on your monitor, very close to what you see. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and hope to see you again.